Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the whole elect, you brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I say shalom. In this video, as you can see here, will be entitled, You Need a Healthy Dose of the fear of the Lord. This is a um, <clears throat> an old list that I had made maybe a few months back. You know, I'm just because, hey, you can never have too much fear of the Lord. You know, the fear of the Lord is very important. The fear of the Lord, as it reads here, I'm going to jump to grab this first, is a treasure. You see, uh, Isaiah 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and sh and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see, so wisdom and knowledge will be the the anchor, so to speak. in the day of trouble during Jacob's trouble, uh, all hell breaking loose, societal collapse, you name it. So when when the time of, of, of evil is engulfed on this earth you're going to have wisdom and knowledge kick in and you're going to understand okay well the prophecy said this is going to happen it said this is going to happen this it says that people are going to uh, uh invade one another for the lack of bread it said that you know um that he was going to come down with great wrath knowing that he had but a short time it said that he would cause all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hands so when you start seeing these things, you're gonna know. Oh, oh man, this, this is prophecy. <laughs> the Lord already said all these things was gonna happen. And one of the beautiful things that the Lord told us is that His servants is gonna eat and drink in those days, man. You see, so that gives us hope and it, and it uh, comforts us in these times of uh, of uh, stress. You know, because you know, hey, Esau Edom is wearing us the hell out, working us in over overdrive. You see. And you got all these different things that's happening over there in the Middle East. So I'm going to grab these precepts on this list. <clears throat> this is Sirach chapter 19, verse 18. The fear of the Lord Yahweh is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtaineth his love. See, so fear of the Lord is the first step. When you came into this truth, you might have been walking down the street, you might have ran across a video. You might have, um, however, somebody might have uh, came up to you and said, hey, did you know you're Israelite, right? Well, however, you were informed of this truth. There was a, 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 a moment of fear that kicked in that faith, you see? Whether it's, hey, the Lord's going to destroy this place with thermonuclear missiles. All hell's about to break loose. And you see it, you know, because of the economy. Whatever the case may be. Right, that fear. When that fear activates, that's when you you really truly start to believe. A lot of these Israelites don't have faith, man, and they really truly don't have the fear of the Lord. That's why they're making merchandise of the flock. That's why um, they're coming out with all these goddamn <laughs> crazy ass doctrines, hell and uh, uh, you know um, uh, Edomites can make it, e Esau. Ain't hated no more, but uh, Jacob ain't loved no more. Whatever, all these goofy ass doctrines, man. You know, so the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of Him. If you have not the fear of the Lord, then the Lord's not going to accept you. Verse nineteen: the, the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life, and they that do the things that please Him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotence. Omnipotency, you see? So, we keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. That's why we don't eat swine. We do our best to uh, stay away from women who have men. So we do not commit adultery, you see? We, uh, we, 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 we keep the uh, high holy days to the best of our ability. So, we, hey, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. Now, in the kingdom, we're going to fulfill the entire law. We're going to, uh, uh, you know, worship the Lord 
in truth and sincerity and we're never going to sin again so let's grab another precept psalms 19 and 9 The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true and righteous altogether. So the fear of the Lord is clean. When you fear the Lord, it's a cleaning agent, man. Because the more fear you have, the more you're going to walk on thin ice, so to speak. Or you're going to walk that fine line. Oh, man, should I do that? Oh, no, the Lord going to jack me up. I ain't going to do this. Or should, Can I do that? No, I ain't going to do that. You know what? I'm not even that hungry. I'm not even going to eat that, <laughs> you know, because, hey, we got to, you know, make sure we're not defiling our temples. We got to make sure we're not um, uh, thinking evil thoughts towards brethren. Right? If you got evil thoughts, man, you should be rebuking those evil thoughts. You see? But the fear of the Lord is clean. When you fear the Lord, man, it, it, it turns over at a new leaf, so to speak. You see? Go ahead, Psalms 11 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. So yes, you have to keep the law. But the law is not going to save us in this day. When you read Galatians, the second chapter, it says that through the law, no flesh will be justified. So... We what? We rehearse the righteous acts. That means if we can't keep the Sabbath holy, we keep the Sabbath holy. If we don't work on the Sabbath day, that means we ain't cooking. We ain't having sex. We're not doing, uh, you know, different pleasures in, in in the flesh. To what? To 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 keep the holy day, uh, to keep the Sabbath holy. You see? So there are different things that we can and can't. Can and there are certain things that we can do and there are certain things that we can't do. Because we're what? We're in captivity. That's what it says in Baruch. We are yet this day in our captivity subject to payments. Let your wife uh, call off every Sabbath day and, and see if you got a job. You know? Come on, man. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 6. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of Yahweh, men depart from evil. Oof. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. You see? Because without that fear, then you're just going to walk. With, how, and, and every, That's why the scriptures say that. Um, um, there's a way that which seemeth the right unto a man, but the, but, the, but the end thereof is death. You see? So when you have no fear of the Lord, you're just going to gonna walk on this earth willy-nilly. Like women. Women don't fear the Lord. They walk on this earth, gadding abroad, committing all type of adultery. Um, shit, saying whatever the fuck comes to their minds, because Esau has given them this platform, especially the uh, the internet, to speak and and be however the fuck they want to be on this earth. So now we're coming into a time where a hey, shit judgment is coming out, man. I'm seeing so much death and and uh, uh, different type of um, judgments the Heavenly Father's bringing out. Hey, you you will be a crazy person to not fear the Lord, man. Or, you know, the Lord just blinded you. Um, let's see here. Uh -uh. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You see that? So when you don't fear the Lord, you become willful. You become you, you think that, no, oh, you know, I can do whatever I, I want to do. I can eat swine, eat squid. I can, uh, uh um, shit. <laughs> you got this whole Drake and Kendrick beef, you know, and uh, just listening to some of the things that they're talking about. It's all about adultery, man. It's either about adultery or, or uh, some type of evil, you know, acts, murder, Right, all all this, all, everything in Babylon is is just the opposite of righteousness, man. You know, so hey, we're we're trying to come out of this. We're we're coming out of this world, as it is written. Be not conformed to this world. We're looking for a new heaven and a new earth where endureth righteousness. That's why we're fearing the Lord, because we know the Lord's kingdom is on His way. It is a time to repent. It is a time to change from being a Gentile in the world. 
worshiping idols, eating uh, uh, abominations and defiling your temple, getting sick and dying, to keeping the law, calling the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, and uh, uh, upholding the, the, the different high holy days to the best of our ability, and waiting patiently until the Lord destroys His kingdom, man. Because this, this kingdom, America, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed. It has to be destroyed. If it if it did not end, there will be no beginning to Jacob's kingdom. Starting with the uh the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, all the way down to the uh the you know the apostles, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's what we're waiting for. So rock one which is scroll. One and twenty one. I will start at 18. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish, both which are the gifts of the Most High, and it enlargeth their rejoicing that love him. You see? So wisdom comes from the fear of the Lord. When, that's why the scriptures say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You read that in Proverbs. So when you fear the Lord and you have that wisdom, now you start to move different. You start to act different. You see, it says making peace and perfect health to flourish. So fear of the Lord is very important. Verse 19, wisdom uh, reigneth down skill and knowledge of understanding. Uh, of understanding is a understanding standing. And exalted them to honor that hold her fast. The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord and the branches thereof are long life. Ooh, come on, man. Does not uh, when you read Proverbs the first chapter it says that he that uh, keep let me grab that real fast since we just flowing through the spirit Psalms one and one blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is the law of the Lord and in his law doth he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf sh uh, also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doth doeth shall prosper. You see, so you gotta hey, <laughs> you gotta be engulfed in this thing, man. That doesn't mean you gotta read the law every single day, but you should know the law. You should be reading the law as well. We can't keep one hundred percent of the law, but we are judges. You see, we are judges. We are we are being uh, prepped. To become gods and judges on this earth. And the law is what we will be executing when we are in power. So get in tune with the law, man. Because you got Edomites out there that know damn near every law. You got people out there that's trying to change up what the law means. Like the law grape. You know, the whole um, thing with the thou shalt not abhor Edomite. You got you got people out there trying to twist and, and, and turn the scriptures, man. Especially the law. You got even people saying the, the law is done away with. <laughs> you know? The law is done away with. Come on now. Well, but when you read in Romans, it says that the law has dominion over man until he dies. So who who are we gonna believe? You gonna you gonna believe some 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 motherfucker who said the law the law uh, you know is done away with, or are you gonna believe the scriptures? So let's go back. Um, so rock two. Let's scroll down again. And verse twenty-one: The fear of the Lord drieth away sins; where it is present, it turneth away wrath. You see. So um, there's another precept. Uh, let me see if I can remember how it's worded, and then I'm gonna have to close it out. One second, let me read this again. Ah, I'm not gonna. It's not coming to me. But um, there's a precept that talks about how um, you know, there's a few precepts out there. You know, you got one in Proverbs: when a man's ways please the Lord, you know, um, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. There's some, some more precepts out there, but there was a specific precept that had came to mind. Fear of the Lord drive. Let me read it again. Sirach 1 and 21. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, 
driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Uh, yes, it, if it comes back, Lord willing, I'll put it in the post production. Um, but yeah, the fear of the Lord is very important. You need a healthy dose of the fear of the Lord. When you have the fear of the Lord, it driveth away sins, man. You see? So that was it. I want to give all praises again to Yahweh, Shem 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 Yahweh